This is the Majesty Triple One, a brand new model from Majesty Yachts. Uh, this is the super yacht that pays you to go super yachting. It is amazing. You're gonna love the interior on this and the spa with a skylight through to the master cabin. It's really, really cool. So watch this video if you're interested in a super detailed walkthrough. We're gonna go right through this whole boat and we will take this boat for a sea trial as well. That's gonna be a separate video in a couple of days. So stay tuned. Okay guys, we're gonna get straight into this. We will go uh, and have a look at the tender storage at the end of the video. So keep watching if you're interested in that. Um, nice stainless there, caps and winches. But I want you to first get a load of this first impression. I don't know if you, do your eyes get drawn to this? I love these columns of the timber here. It's really, really nice. And also looking at this boat from a distance, um, it just adds a little bit of style to it. I thought that was really, really nice. But this deck here, we've got beautiful protection from the sun. We've got a wing station just here. You've got some uh, firefighting under there and a sink and some entertainment just down there. But we'll get straight into the saloon because <laughs> I love these doors, that's so cool. You're gonna love this interior. This is stylish. We've got beautiful finishes. Now, I wanna point out, you can do whatever you like with Majesty Yachts. So all of this, everything we're looking at here, the furniture, the upholstery, the marble, the timber work, all of the, all of the soft finishings, it's all done by Majesty. It's all custom made. So if this is not your vibe, no worries. They'll just do what you want. But have a look at this wonderful dining area here. You sit 10 people. Just have a look at this. Have a look at this light feature. How cool is that? Got the marble on the roof, big glass windows, so you can really soak up the air conditioning on the hot days. Get outside when you're comfortable, but always enjoy these epic views. Got storage underneath here, so you can all have all your plateware and all your fancy glasses and stuff down there. Same on that side and a little bit of storage over there. And I just wanna point out, uh, just come in here, Blaine, just check out these light features. Just simple, but very cool, and adds a nice mm. touch to the boat. And then you, if you carry that line up and see this timber curve that they've just done here, very, very nice. Well, let's keep this moving. I wanna show you the master because it's an impressive one and it's on the same deck. We have got access to the side decks on starboard here. That's going up to the bridge, down to the accommodation. We will get to that. Come straight in. We have a door just going into the galley there and day head. So have a quick look at that. Nice marble finishes. There you go. But <laughs> this is cool. This is, this is James Bond stuff. I'm so excited to show you this because just come in here and just have a look up there. How awesome is that? My mind is just going crazy with ideas. This would just be so much fun. Just, you know, oh, epic. But you've got a wonderful lounge just here. You've got a little bit of storage there. Just check out the massive TV screen on the wall. And it's been set back and framed with this timber work. So it's, the styling's just, just really, really cool. We've got a, a, like a vanity type area here. Lockers all the way around some like felt type material just there so you can be sitting doing your makeup watching the view or you could even set this up as a little bit of a laptop area i reckon if you needed but then come back here little little uh stool there some storage marble finishing just here but this is amazing so this is almost a full beam head <laughs> so you got your your loo just there massive shower this is like a three-person shower Look, I feel lonely in the corner. I go for a walk in my shower. <laughs> this is epic. So you've got that, you've got two sinks just here. Nice backlit mirror. But then you come into this section, there is a pool or a sliding door just here. And this is your change room because you've got safe uh, drawers, shelves, hanging, and then you've got more hanging. So his and hers and then and more hanging in here, and then drawers popping out from just here. So you really are well catered for with another door sliding just here, standing on beautiful soft woolen carpet, and then out onto the timber floors. I think we'll actually just go straight down and show you the accommodation. I want you to pay attention to just how beautiful this stairway is. Check out the marble backlit with these timber pieces it's just a really cool feature and then you come down in here and the way they finish it off 
with this glass just here makes this area feel massive and the mirrors as well. So come straight into one of the many VIPs. So we're at port aft right now. So we've got this beautiful queen berth here, window, storage, marble, really soft, nice woolen carpets. I've seen this on the Nomad just before, this lovely finished timber. That's all done, handmade in the factory. Got your TV just here. And then we've got a very large, come check this out, Blaine, like this is huge. And again, a really spacious shower. So that's impressive, let's keep moving. We'll head over to the starboard side. Whilst I'm here, I'll pop through. This is basically a mirror image. So I've got some hanging, shelves, more storage just there. Mirror image of what we've basically just seen on port. I like those big tiles on the marble, easy to keep clean. And yeah, the bed's just lovely. But just appreciate this once again as we come through here. We've got some linen storage behind this mirror just here. I just, I think by the way they've done this with the glass, it just, it just creates a lovely picture. So you walk out of your bedroom in the morning, you get greeted by that, that's pretty cool. More linen storage just here. We actually do have what looks like a door that uh, hides away. So I suspect you can make this whole area forward from here private. It's a bit of a James Bond door though, because it's, it's hidden when it's closed. So um, let's check out the kiddies cabin port. Couple of singles, berths. I don't think they would move. They look fixed in place. So I'd say that's your only option in here. Um, nice big window, sit up in bed obviously. And then once again, you, you, man, these bathrooms are awesome. You're just not lacking on space. So heaps of volume just there. Straight across to starboard. And basically mirror image. Yes, it is a mirror image. Wonderfully huge cabin, or uh, sorry, head just there, and two singles. So off our uh, thick white woolen carpet onto the hallway carpet and into what would be the, the real VIP because you've got your own little office area here. You've got his and hers hanging storage, large mirror just behind Blaine, which you'll see in a sec and then this beautiful big queen or king size bed just here with storage lockers on either side. We've got shelves behind the bed. We have another hanging storage just here on, on starboard and your own TV and quite a large, considerably larger head than what we saw in the other cabins with storage behind here, under here, single sink, and then quite a big shower just here with a massive rain head shower thingamajiggy. So that's cool, epic, love it. So what we will do, we'll head out of here. Isn't that hard walking backwards with the camera, Bane? <laughs> so, don't fall over, please, don't injure yourself. We've got a few more days of this. Okay, so straight up the stairs. I think we'll go from here, we'll head, we'll keep going up. We'll go up to the bridge and appreciate some of these views. So as you're coming up here, I want you to pay attention to the skylight, which really opens this area up, gives it a, big, a feeling of space. And the glass just here allows light to penetrate through. We'll get there in a second. You got a day head just up here, but just come straight forward and check out the bridge. So we will do all of this in more detail because we are going to take this boat for a sea trial on Monday. So I'll cover the equipment side of it uh, in more detail then when we actually take it for a spin. But you can obviously enjoy yourself on passage if you want to sit in the air conditioning. Obviously, you can sit in the pool too. So we'll get to that. Um, and the skipper can access the decks on the port side. And we've got the control panel or your 240 electrical Basically, come in here, Blaine, and then turn around, I reckon, because you want to walk through and just look at this view. So, check this out. I think this is one of the most impressive parts of this boat. The feeling you get up here is plush, but it, this is, I guess, what holidays should be all about. Yeah? Just soak it in. Massive TV, beautiful lounge. You could sit... Oh, you could sit... 15 people in here. 
like no problems. So this is wonderful. You'd sit and watch a you know, watch a movie or whatever, but this is a great place to enjoy a drink or a chat or a cup of tea or whatever you like. And your bar is nightclub quality. Like, how good is this? Everything you need. And once again, I just love this. <laughs> Open door. Got some curtains just there. And straight out here onto the sun deck. Really good place for an alfresco meal. Um, reason being, we're in the shade, but if you choose, this roof here will actually, with a press of a button, concertina open. They'll go like that and allow some sunlight or airflow through. We've got our barbecue, refrigeration, sinks on starboard. We've got stairs on port to get down to the lower deck. And just stay there, Blaine, and get all this into perspective. You and 50 of your closest mates would have a good time up here, I reckon. How good is this? Like, or you could come out and do some yoga in the morning. Um, it's just amazing. You just imagine the possibilities with this space um, that you could, you know, utilize it with. So I love it. And nice glass finishes at the back of the boat. So nothing to hinder your view when everyone's playing uh, on their water toys throughout the day. So I think it's time to go forward. I also like that they've done this in Perspex. Assume that's Perspex because it's not hindering my view looking out. So you're really always appreciating the water from anywhere you are. Uh, nice finishings here. Check out the width. Two people could easily pass by. So if you were watching some yacht racing or some New Year's Eve fireworks and you had people all over the upper decks, um, you can actually stand up here and enjoy yourself and still allow people to pass by. <laughs> Just, does that not get you excited? Stay there, Blaine, and just put that into perspective. This is so cool, and it has bubbles. I love it. So, uh, I think this is where I would be on passage, but you've got beautiful seating, storage underneath, a couple of tables just there. We've got these sun lounges all the way around, and you've got more sun lounging up here. So just come and get a little bit of this into shot. You could sit here on passage. You're not gonna be in the way of the captain because he or she will be able to see over your head no problem. So there's no danger there because it's a nice, deep, well-set seat just here. And sun yourself, no worries, just here. Head straight, head straight down and have a look at the anchoring setup. Dual anchors, another little seat up here. Storage lazarette, can't open that one for you. They're gonna need a tool for that. And I've got a light just here, LED. So, Courtesy lights everywhere, by the way. So if you're noticing these round thingamajiggies, stainless steel, they're LED courtesy lights right throughout the boat. So everything will be illuminated of an evening. So we're now coming down the starboard side. So notice how it's offset. So you've got the walkway that we just went through on the port side, but on starboard, we go down. So come on down. This was the door that we passed on the starboard side on the way into the master. So that's where that takes you. And then we have an opening gate just here. So we can get out just there and then just keep coming. We got fixed glass all the way here. And we'll go down and we'll check out the crew quarters. I just love these columns. It's such a, whoever's idea was that, I think it's worked really, really well. The boat, um, it lends itself quite nicely. So you can go all the way forward and get into the galley, or you can go down into the crew quarters. So come on down. Don't fall, Blaine. It's a little bit steep, but then these crew quarters are epic. So I'll sit in the little mess area. Four people, probably. Ugh. Four people having a meal, no problems. Maybe five with a director's chair, but that's cool. And then we've got our small galley just here. I assume storage, deep sink. We've got another locker just here, but we'll go in here. Uh, excuse some of the cushions and bits and pieces. We are at a boat show, so it's you being used for storage. Um, I'd say this is probably the captain's quarters because he's got his own uh, head and separate shower, quite spacious, hanging locker. And then I'd say, these two cabins are for the crew 
Um, these beds are very large. That you would call them like big singles, and then decent amount of storage and their own. Come in here and just have a quick look at that. Separate shower and a toilet. And then let's just have a quick look at the other side because once again in here, again, excuse some of the storage items, but we've got separate shower and a toilet. So this, this layout really equates to a happy crew. That's a pop-up seat just in there. Oh no, that's a little table. Oh, so they can even get in here and work, stay in their cabins and work on their laptops. That's, that's considerate. That's really considerate. So we'll go quickly into the engine room. We're running MANs on this boat. She's a little bit disorganized again because of the boat show. I just want to point out one particular piece of equipment. This just here, uh, it's like a scrubber. So it scrubs some of the impurities or, or the pollutants out of the exhaust and then pumps in um, less polluting diesel fumes into the air. Um, I won't go through it all in, in great detail because I want to keep this moving. We'll do that in the, uh, in the sea trial. Alrighty, come on up. Okay, so from here, we can go. I'll point out this wing station just here on starboard. Wing station, bow and stern thruster controls just there, but we can also open, and I'm gonna do that right now, the lazarette. Okay, open sesame. So this is our storage for the tender garage. All right, that just comes up hydraulically. And you're gonna get a decent size rib in there. And I suspect a lot of people with a boat like this are also gonna have a chase boat. So um, the, the rib that you store in here maybe with one or two jet skis uh, is gonna be fine for regular operations. And then you might perhaps say have a 30, 35 foot uh, rib or chase boat of some sort that supports you as well. Um, so I think it's time to have a quick chat to Marley um, and we will talk about the business case for owning a yacht like this because once again, the Golfcraft Group are focused on putting boats like this into survey so you can get a return on your boating investment. Okay, once again, Marley Cutbush, uh, dealer for Majesty Yachts, uh, flagship international based out of Rose Bay. Thank you for joining us. My um, pleasure. Triple One. So this is super yacht vibe, not so much explorer vibe, um, like the Nomad, and um, the business case for only one of these. Yeah, so this is, you know, this is the Hull One that we're on board in Dubai at the moment. Um, I think they've sold up to Hull Four. Beautiful boat, whole different sort of angle for golf crafts, super, super high end. Um, this is, you know, this is a, a real luxury term charter boat. So this is, this is, you know, guys that normally charter in the Med, normally charter in the Caribbean, still want this this high end sort of experience with their families or a couple of couples, um, and it's coming down down home. Yep. So this is more of a base it out at Ely Beach and run luxury charters through the Whitsunday Islands, for example. Not yeah, so much. Yeah. Again, of a you could still do some some hourly charters on Sydney Harbour. Yep. Um, you'd probably price yourself a little bit higher so that yep. you, you're getting the ultra high end net worth sort of family stuff mm -hmm. or some, some corporate dinners, corporate charters on Sydney Harbour for the summer. Um, even pit water for a few nights is always attractive. Uh, get the seaplane in, get them on the yacht, spend three days cruising pit water yep. and then and then seaplane out. So I'm not gonna hold you to it, but uh, a guesstimate on what this would do for an hourly rate on Sydney Harbour. Probably around thirty six hundred dollars an hour. Okay. Yep. Yep. So you know, again, One World um, goes to. They're, they're very, very booked up for yep. that for that hourly charter stuff. Yep. Um, I mean, this is a beautiful boat. Yep. Um, big capacity. Hoping to sort of get some pretty high numbers on board on this boat. Um, so yeah, I think the the term charters is probably where this is going to be pitched to. Um, but certainly the, the earning opportunity on Sydney Harbour is there. Yep, so yeah, I understand your point because you've got less wear and tear with the term charters and 
you know, weeks holiday up around the pit water for people who do their Palm Beach summer holidays type vibe and having this on station ready for the family would be a, a good option. So Exactly right. We, interesting thing, we, we've actually had some, some inquiries recently of people flying in and using, use, you know, instead of getting surrounded by paparazzi at their hotel in Sydney mm-hmm. and you pay $20,000 per night at the, at the hotel, then I think the, the presidential suite is, is around $20,000 a night. They rent this on, on Sydney Harbour. This becomes their, their hotel room yep. while they're in town. Tender in and out. They've got full full exclusivity and privacy. Yep. No paparazzi chasing them, and then they fly out. And the best sunsets in Sydney. Correct. So that yeah, that would be amazing. Um, and so okay, what about uh, again? I won't hold you to this, but a term charter, you know, a week's charter, say whether it was pit water or on the uh, you know Queensland side, your your, your Junes, Julys. Yeah. So you're probably do you be doing a seven day charter, basing out of early out to out to the Whit Sundays is a really popular cruising destination, some of the most beautiful islands in the world. Yep. Um, and still relatively untouched on the global scale. Um, so you're probably looking around $160,000 per week that yep. this would be renting out for. Okay, so there you go. We've got a, a possibility of a, a three, about a three month season uh, through the winter up in Queensland, getting that, those sorts of dollars. And then yeah. our summer season, um, it's a bit of a harder one to work out because it's depending on whether you're doing that that day charter or trying or, to do it or, or sticking to term charter. But yeah. still, I mean, you, you can you can tweak your business model just like any. The, the, I think the important thing is that instead of buying a yacht, you've got to look that you're buying a business. Mm. And and there's a lot of benefits to buying a business versus buying a yacht. Yep. In terms of the commercial aspect, um, but yeah, you tweak your numbers based on supply and demand. Yep. So it's you know running running a bar or running a hotel, you'd, you'd be playing with your, your figures to make sure that you're getting maximum occupancy and, and good yield. Yep. Same same concept on a super yacht. And uh, last question, uh, crew. So what are you going to run in, in private operation then versus um, Pro- taking out? private? You're probably running with six. Yep. Um, and then you go up to eight with the chef, depending how many toys you've got on board. Yep. As whether you want extra stew or extra deck. Sometimes if you, you've got a lot of toys on board, you need that extra deck hand to be helping launch jet skis, launch tenders, get the, the flight boards out there, yep. Yep. Um, doing some dive stuff. Uh, generally, you'd have a chase boat again, so you can some guests can be can be on board relaxing and others are diving around the corner. I wanna make the videos recommending the chase boats for this, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've got a few ideas. There's a few options out there. <laughs> awesome. Uh, look, that's great. Okay, well, mate, that's really interesting. I hope that was valuable to you guys. Once again, the business case uh, for owning a triple one, um, and you know, the Golfcraft Group have specialised now for quite a while in um, putting boats into charter. Building you know, a boat building into Amster is, is a very difficult thing to do. As I mentioned, Golf Golfcraft every vessel over twenty four metres in length is built to commercial class. Yep. So the rollover from that that's the hardest work done. The rollover into Amster is another level again and golf car for happy to do it. Awesome, all right, hope that was useful. How good is this guys? So I hope you learned a thing or two, I hope that was beneficial to you. Um, I just wanna say if you like this content, if you get value from it, consider liking, uh, subscribing, and maybe even joining the Patreon if you wanna support this content. I make it for you uh, and only you, and I hope you get great value from it. Um, Majesty, triple one. This is exciting. Um, this is a very um, forward-thinking design, and I think this is a boat that will, from what we have just learned, pay you back should you choose. So um, I'm excited to see where they're going with this because uh, if you are not already aware, they have actually announced uh, a 160, which, which looks gorgeous. That's not coming out for a couple of years, but I'll, I'll leave a, an image up on the screen because um, the direction that this brand is going in is something that I think is gonna appeal to a lot of you.